Is this thing on? I'm just kidding. I know it's on. I hope all is well, Lou Wallace Mustangs. I miss you guys. I hope you are healthy and happy and try not to be too bored. Now, that being said, I'm bored. I've been bored. And I'm busy even around the house, but I still get bored because I've been doing the same thing for three weeks. Almost. Anywho, I want to get started. And I have a couple of ideas about how we could do art without really having to have art stuff or art materials or an art room or me helping you right in front of you. So I know that we have done some sculptures around school a little bit. And I know I've talked to you about sculpture. So I thought that would be a good place to start. Not only that, I'm trying something new. I've never done all this before. So you got to cut me a little bit of slack. Okay. I know you guys are YouTubers and experts at that kind of stuff. And I'm kind of learning different ways. Okay. So the first thing I want to show you is a book that I've had for some time. And I think it's pretty cool. And a lot of my ideas for teaching art class via the internet will be using this book. I know you can't read backwards but you can try. It's called How to Be an Explorer of the World. Now, I think this book's pretty cool because it's not necessarily traditional in the sense of art making. You don't have to learn how to draw. You don't have to know how to paint. It's kind of like being an observer. Now, I think that's the best part. So, I just opened this randomly the other day, and I found the perfect idea. So, I'm going to show you again. I know you can't read it, but look. So, in here, it's a it says sculpture, I know it's backwards. So what it's wanting you to do is consider that everything around you is a source for sculpture. Try making a quick piece using whatever you have around you in the moment. And I thought that was perfect because, well, around the house, there's all kinds of goodies you can use. And let me just go ahead and say this. You really don't need glue or tape, even though those things would help. And that would be cool. If you want to use that, great. The sculptures that I made today, I didn't use any of that stuff. I just kind of stacked them together and put them together without them falling apart. Now, like I said, that's up to you. If you have tape or glue or things that you want to use to stick things together, that's cool. And I tried doing things that I wouldn't normally try. So if you have Legos or blocks or things like that, that'd be great. But let's try and think about some other things that I'm going to show you. Um, and if you don't have all the materials right now, Start thinking about collecting some, so we'll be ready to go. So let me show you some of the sculptures that I made. I've got to go ahead and share. I've got my phone hooked up. I'm going to share my phone. So give me one second to get that going. Okay. So some of the things that I made are, uh, give me a sec, guys. I'm sorry. I am getting this thing going. I use my phone as like my mini camera. Okay. Now, what I'm gonna do. So, I got my phone going, and I'm gonna move it around to show you a couple of things. So here's some sculptures that I had made. First of all, I know it's a little choppy. I'm trying to move slow. So for this sculpture right here, I had, I don't know, a little soy sauce jar, a cup, a compass, a ruler, and a little triangle. But I mean, I made a little sculpture out of that. There's no glue on there. It's kind of just put on there as such. Here's another one I made. I had a little Lego guy on there, but he fell off. I made one just out of fruit. You know, and I think that's okay. You can do that. Cereal box. I had an old cereal box that I just finished up. Yes, <laughs> Reese's Peanut Butter Puffs. Um, I just cut up that box. And I think it's really cool to try. And I'll show you right here really fast. All right, I got some stuff sitting here. So even with your cereal box, you can probably cut little slits in there. And I've showed some of you guys how to do that. Use a pair of scissors and cut a little tiny slit in your little cardboard, and that way it'll stick together. And that's what I did with that. I kind of just stuck them together. If you could look closely, I'll show you here for a second. I cut little slits in the cardboard or the piece of the um, cereal box, and that way it helps me kind of keep them together. So that's a simple little sculpture. I had an old broken lampshade, and I have a bazillion, bazillion little Gatorade bottles lying around, so I made a little quick sculpture of that, and I thought this was pretty clever. I had a bunch of just plastic forks lying around. 
So I made a little sculpture out of that too. So anyway, I just wanted to show you some of my examples. Here's my computer screen. Oh my God, it's a, it just keeps going and going and going. And it's gone. Anywho, I'm just sorry. I'm sorry. I'm playing around. So let me put my phone down and let me get back to what I was saying. I got another thing I want to show you real fast. Okay. So, all right, I'm back. So now one more thing I wanted to show you couple things you can think of. So I showed you some objects that I use just to put together and kind of make a sculpture. Now, it's just for fun. It doesn't have to be for keeps, and it's just for something for you to do. And I thought, even for me, I had fun doing these for three or four, well, one, two, three, four, five sculptures. I did them pretty quick. Now, I could spend more time, and the reason why we're doing this is that the next week, or the next lesson coming up soon, we're gonna do some things outside. So I want to I want you to look at a couple of artists really quick while you're doing these things. And if you have a device, which if you're watching this right now, you know, obviously you do. So let me show you one last thing. Oops. I'm getting better at this, guys. I'm sorry. All right. So Alexander Calder, he was an artist from a while ago, and you can look him up on the internet. I got his name spelled out right here for you. Alexander Calder, he made sculptures that hung from the ceiling, which I did too, and I forgot to show you. I'll show you here in a second. Alexander Calder made these mobiles. A mobile is something that hangs from the ceiling, and it kind of just, I don't know, hangs there, balances there. And the cool thing about his sculptures is that they kind of moved. Okay, another artist I want you to kind of look at is, his name is Andy Goldsworthy. Now, this is where it starts to get fun. This guy does sculptures all outside. He does sculptures in nature, and he comes up with some pretty cool stuff too. So look up Andy Goldsworthy. He has some pretty amazing stuff. He's definitely one of my favorites. And then I just have this one generic slide of abstract sculpture. So I don't know who made these ones, but every time I think of sculpture, I think about the sculptures I see outside. They're real big ones that you can walk around and see or touch and they're usually made out of steel or wood and i like to think about sculpture every time somebody says sculpture that's what i think of now there's also sculptures of people but i think these sculptures are a little more fun and they're a little bit more approachable because we can find shapes and objects and put them together to make a sculpture so that being said let me show you my one last little thing i show i forgot to show you the thing that i had hanging up so let me get my phone ready again. Let me see if it's already still going. Um, it should be, I think. Probably not. We'll see what happens. See if it's still on. Nope. Here, let me get it rolling again. And I'll show you my last little bit. Okay. Again, I'll probably be better at this next time, you know. So I'm going to get better at teaching online. So Let's see what this looks like right here. Let me get my camera going. All right, cool. I forgot. So one last thing that I did, I got a bunch of coat hangers and I even made a sculpture out of coat hangers. So really, you can find literally anything around your house to kind of put together. And I think the ones that don't have glue or tape are the better. But hey, if you got that stuff, cool. So I'm gonna put my phone down again. Let me see, oh my goodness, I'm still navigating this stuff. Okay, here I am again. So, that's what I have in mind for you. So, try to build a sculpture out of objects. Look at what you have, if you got a pair of scissors, or recyclables, or even like little twisty ties, or leftover cereal boxes. Those are all great things to use to make a little sculpture. Give it a shot. If you uh, make something that you love, go ahead and take a picture of it. Um, you can probably email it to me or post it on, I don't know, YouTube or put it in the comments section maybe, or I don't know, I'm gonna get to you back on that one where we can figure out where or how to share things. I haven't gotten that far yet. I'm taking this a little bit at a time. So enjoy your lesson. Try to make a cool sculpture, have fun doing it. Um, and if you can somehow, which I don't know how right now, how things are being, if you can kind of find a book of how to be an explorer of the world, it's a pretty cool book and it has all kinds of ideas about art making in there. And I'm gonna use this to spur some lessons. So 
I'll see you soon. And maybe I'll have more of a mullet next time because my hair is getting long. So I'm just kidding. Have a good day, Mustangs. And I hope to see you soon. Take care. And I will have another art lesson for you shortly. See how this works. Have a good day.